going to prepare uh, three types of bread with the incorporation of uh, chlorella vulgaris uh, with the three different beautiful colors. We are going to start uh, to mix the ingredients. Here we have our flour with uh, the seeds, is the wheat flour mixture with um, the yeast. And we are going to add chlorella and also a little bit of wheat flour. Now the water, the oil, the oil and the water. This is the normal way how we prepare uh, bread. It's also, we can also use a bread machine as somebody has at home. And now the water. And we are going to use the specific program to produce bread. Uh, very well mixed, as you can see here the seeds, and we are going to put it in the in the mold. Using the hands is always a good idea in order to to obtain a a beautiful shape, and we can perform like this. Now, of course, before going to the oven, it, this is a bread as I recorded in the be in the beginning. We have the yeast. Now we we have to give time to the yeast to do. Uh, its job. So here we have our fermented dough with organic uh, chlorella and we are going to put it in the oven around 40 minutes and uh, let us wait for it. It's very important to, to study the impact in terms of dough rheological properties. Uh, as you can see in this graph when uh, using this equipment, uh, it um, allows us to imitate, imitate the mixture process. Uh, it is a micro dough lab and uh, it mixes the, the, the wheat dough, the wheat flour with the microalgae. And it is possible to understand uh, and to determine determine the, the water content that is needed to add. After 40 minutes later, we are going to um, remove your uh, our bread from the oven. Let us see. <laughs> Here they are, our green bread. And now it's important to cool down because um, the moisture that is in the end. So we are going to remove it from here. This is the with the, this is the greener, is with the organic chlorella, this is the smooth, with smooth chlorella, and this is the honey chlorella. So here we have our three beautiful breads, green mm -hmm. uh, and healthy breads. In, in the greener is the, the one produced with um, organic chlorella, it's uh, autotrophic, and as you can see, it is uh, a darker green and uh, a more intense uh, color, uh, taste, and, uh, and also flavor. So uh, we have other options. Um, the smooth chlorella and the, the yellow one are produced uh, in heterotrophic conditions and um, the result are uh, lighter colors and not so uh, intense flavors and, and tastes, and um, they, they are good options for the consumers. Well, this one, it has a, a, a dark green color. Uh, compare it, you can see now, this one, the smooth chlorella vulgaris. As you can see, probably more easily, is easily uh, accepted by the consumer. So the last one is produ was produced with the, the, the yellow uh, chlorella. It results very well in bread, as you can see. Uh, it seems like a, a regular uh, wheat bread without microalgae. For some consumers, it, it could be uh, a great advantage, um, as you can see. And the taste is not so... Yes. So strong. And if the consumers don't like green, <laughs> they can have this option.